As of the time of writing, Europe is in the grip of another deadly heatwave. And it's really eye-opening that I have to use the word another here. In just 22 years, the time I've been alive, I have experienced these heatwaves going from rare to now a nearly yearly phenomenon. And while my small town in the Netherlands is only dealing with 37 degrees today, many places in Europe aren't this fortunate. Portugal, Spain and France dealing with severe forest fires, which have also become ever more common in the last decades. Climate change is here, and whether you still want to protect your bubble of ignorance, it does not change the fact that it's now a part of our daily lives. What was really eye-opening to me personally, and what I'm making this video actually about, is this map. This is a Köppen climate map of Europe in 2070, produced by the journal Scientific Data. What this shows may not be apparently obvious to anyone, but it's actually quite disturbing. This map shows how in the next 50 years, Europe's climate zones will change quite radically. And as we will increasingly begin to see this map take shape in the real world, I thought we should talk about it while it's still just a prediction. In this video I want to go over this particular map, because I think it does a greater way of showing what it's intended to show with some context. I'm explaining in detail how different European regions will be affected by climate change in the coming 50 years. Assuming most of my viewers are roughly the same age as me, give or take a few years, this will mostly happen during our lifetimes. Let's start with Iceland. In 2020, the majority of Iceland is covered by tundra climate, with some small wet oceanic climate in the south. By 2070, most of the tundra will have been replaced by oceanic climate, allowing temperate rainforests to spread across the country. While Iceland today barely has any forests to speak of, by 2070 it may move up to be one of Europe's most forested countries as other countries such as Slovenia and Finland will lose some of their forests. Iceland stands to be one of the few countries that will become more livable from climate change in the future. One region that will definitely not become more livable is Iberia. Spain and Portugal today already have warm and dry climates, with over half of Spain today being classified as a cold steppe climate. By 2070, as much as 30% of the country might transform into a hot Sahara-like desert. Between 1998 and 2012, 3,600 people died annually because of heat waves in Spain. Between 2070 and 2099, that number could be 30,500 annually in the worst case scenario. The rest of Iberia today mostly enjoys a Mediterranean climate, which by 2070 will shift much further north, according to this map, possibly even as far as Brittany, Normandy and even southern England will host Mediterranean climates by 2070. Much of France will also become a lot drier, which no doubt will spell disaster for the local agriculture and make water much more valuable. Italy will lose most of the cooler Po Valley climate, being replaced with cool steppes and Mediterranean climates. What's happening in Italy is actually quite a bit complex, with warm steppes creeping into it from the south as well. The Alps will also see most of their high altitude tundra climate disappear, causing massive loss to the already melting glaciers there. Rivers such as the Rhone, the Rhine and the Po might see significant if not total water reduction by 2070. The Po River, as of writing this video, already has lost much of its water capacity this summer due to the snow melting too early this year. Further north, in Central Europe, where I live, and Germany, the wet oceanic climate will spread further inland, but get hotter. It is quite possible that the Central Europe of 2070 will take over much of the wine industry currently located in France and Mediterranean Europe. Greece and Turkey are set to lose most of their inland continental climates, having them replaced with warmer Mediterranean climates. This very shift to warmer and drier climates is what's already causing massive forest fires in these countries, a trend only likely to worsen in the coming 50 years. Above them 
in the Balkans, we might see some of the most drastic climate change in all of Europe. Today, the majority of the Balkan Peninsula is covered by a humid continental climate, which is a very wet and overall cooler climate than most of Western Europe has. By 2070, however, this will mostly be replaced by various warmer climates, such as Mediterranean, Steppe and even Oceanic. Most of the extensive forests that today cover the Balkans will struggle to survive in the drier climates of 2070, with the exceptions of the northmostern part of the Balkans in Slovenia and Croatia, climatically the Balkans will be unrecognizable by 2070. In East Central Europe surrounding Poland, the climate will also get much warmer and stay wet, humid continental being replaced by oceanic, which is still wet, but a lot warmer. By 2070, Poland may not see many snow at all during winters, a predicament currently faced in my home country, 1100 kilometers to the west. Ah, snow, how I remember throwing snowballs, making snowmen, a white Christmas, I haven't done that since I was 8 now. Scandinavia today has primarily humid continental and subarctic climate zones, which are cooler and drier than the climate they will have by 2070. Southern Sweden and coastal Norway can expect significant increase in rainfall in the coming 50 years, as they transition to more oceanic climates. This could lead to local mudslides and flooding of rivers and creeks, which in turn could then lead to even more disasters. Finland and the Baltic states will also become much wetter. Countries like Estonia and Latvia could host large coastal swamps by 2070, as they also transition into a warmer and wetter oceanic or continental climates. European continental climates will be pushed much deeper into the east, but even in the far east, in Europe, the effects can also be seen. The today fertile steppes of Ukraine will look like the Crimean steppes of today by 2070. These will engulf most of Ukraine, while further north, Russia and Belarus will get increasingly softer and wetter winters. For Russia, at least this means most of the barren lands in its north will suddenly become more farmable and may lead the country to become the world's biggest food producer. But for most countries, 2070 looks not too bright in the climate sense. I actually first saw this map just a few months ago and I was like, oh wow. But then this heatwave came and I was like, oh shit. It paints the future in a much different way than just hyper advanced computers and medical science. Which is what the future really is. The future will not just be human advancements, but also human consequences. And this map does a great job at showing what those consequences might be. I would finish the video with your standard if you want to help solve the climate change, do X and Y, but instead of that, take a moment to consider what your country will be like in 2070. Would that be a place you would still recognize? Would you still want to continue to live there? Even if you are in Ireland, where the climate zone will continue to be oceanic, it will be a lot warmer there. These are things I think about in this hot weather, because a warm Europe it is, and a warmer Europe it will be.